Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play The Longest Journey. When we left off last time, we made it to the Guardian's Realm. We had three surprise trials we had to get through, but we did pretty well. Uh, we were able to bring Crow into here, which was pretty awesome. We sort of just like opened up a shift and summoned him in, uh, but he disappeared after creating this mist bridge for us, so nervous about that, but let's get over to this tower. That looks like a spot to maybe plunk in our disc. It's been a long journey getting here, but this is it. The end of the road. No, I have a feeling Gordon Holloway's gonna pop All up. All I have to do now is figure out how to get up into the tower. I thought I'd already passed the three trials. There's only something. Yes, there is. It's not supposed to be easy. Okay, and I I I have a suspicion. I think Gordon Holloway's gonna show up, and we are gonna take our chaos infused talisman of balance. We're going to throw it right at him, and then it's going to fuse the two parts of himself. And then, will we be the guardian, or will he be the guardian? It's the talisman of the balance. Okay, pretty sure a stone disc, though, is what we need. Right? No, it doesn't go in the well? I thought we'd just plunk it right in there. I guess this must be the well of making. It's not as imposing as I thought it would be. Not even close. Well, dip a hand in. Make a ladder. It's the well of making. It's very deep and very clear and obviously magical. Okay, so we need to stick something right in there, right? There we go. It's draining the well? Back up, April. Let it do whatever it's gonna do, and oh. Wait, it's, it's fingerprint uh, protected? Alright, well. Touch that big glowing thing. The water has shaped itself into a hand. Oh, I was thinking of it like, touch it and it scans your hand. Um kind of worried now that it's going to just grab hold of us and wrench us somewhere. Let's do it. Nothing? Um, hello? Thank God you came. I thought you were lost for good. Oh, Adrian. My path here diverged from yours. You had to pass the three trials. I didn't recognize you at first, buddy. You were right in warning me. This place is like a Freudian nightmare. The first psychologist to arrange field trips here will rake in a fortune. I mean, talk about shock therapy. It is a sacred He has no place. idea what she's Only the chosen few can pass through the desolation. But then why didn't my hand work on the Well of Making? I mean, I passed all the tests, right? You're not the Guardian. That is a mystery. You are to be the 13th Guardian, are you not? The balance has picked you. Your hand should have unlocked the tower, like mine did. Why did it still react to your hand? He's not done being the Guardian? Even though I left the tower, I am still the current Guardian. And I will continue to be, until you go through the ritual and take my place. Hold on. I think we're about to move. The tower is letting us in. Oh, wow. Well, that's a dramatic way to bring us in there. Also, it's interesting. He talked about we we're going to have to face our worst fear, and I thought it was going to be 
uh, the alternate version of April that we saw with the Bond. Oh, there's Gordon Holloway hanging on the bottom. Um, but no, it was the issues with her dad. So is it letting us in because it recognizes Gordon Holloway as the, the next guardian? I'm hopeful because that would be an escape from April. She doesn't have to be a thousand years from everybody. I never thought I would see this place again. So why did you leave cold. in the first place? Was it always this cold? Just because the balance was failing? I do not know. When I was here last, I did not feel much at all. Yeah, you were just kind of like in a trance or whatever, I'm weren't freezing. you? I spent more than 1,000 years in this tower, and yet I cannot remember ever feeling warm or cold. Being Guardian, there is just the balance and our duty to it. You didn't feel anything? So are you, like, awake the whole time? There are no emotions. Emotions interfere with the balance. I was the conduit between magic and logic, between chaos and order, and I had to be clean. I mean, did you do anything? Horrible. It does sound horrible. Or do you just kind of stand it there and felt that way. channel these powers? I was content. As far as it was possible for me to be content. Until the very end, when I became restless. That's when you left the tower? I had no choice. The balance forced me out. Oh. I was polluting the flows that passed through me, through this room. And it was time for someone to succeed me. Okay. So now it's... it's my turn. To be guardian. Are you afraid? I I've never been so yeah, afraid in my life. Yeah, I would think life. most people would be. A thousand years. It's daunting. Everything will be gone when I'm when I'm done. My friends, my family, dead. My world probably changed beyond recognition. I know, April. I have experienced this myself. When I returned to Stark, I could not believe that all the things I knew, the memories of a life that I recalled as clearly as if it were only yesterday, they were all gone. Oh, you were from Stark too? I assumed Arcadia. I was lost, alone, dying, until the Vanguard picked me up from the street and imprisoned me. It shames me to say it, but that was a relief. To be fed, to sleep comfortably, to be warm. Mm -hmm. You have every right to be afraid, but consider this. Your sacrifice will be the salvation of mankind, of two worlds. What greater gift is there? What greater reward than to know you're like a god? I don't need to be like a god, but knowing Believe I'm saving me, two worlds is pretty important. I could important. do without the reward. If there was any other way, I'd embrace it in a second. But I won't shy away from this either. If it is my destiny, then so be it. Good. To wish for the loss of dreams and emotions would be wrong. But to acknowledge it in the face of your fears, this proves you are ready. Okay. So, what now? What do I do? Do I just stand in this circle? Just walk to the edge of the disk. The tower will know what to do. If you are the new guardian, the tower will embrace you. It's not gonna embrace me, is it? All right, here it goes. One thousand years. I don't think it's gonna. It's gotta be Gordon Holloway. We have to reunite him with his chaos part. Oh, I thought she needed to stand under this mechanism. Over here, huh? Now what? Nothing's happening. It's not you. You are right. Then it is as I suspected. What? What did you suspect? That you are not the one chosen to take my place in the tower. You are not the 13th Guardian. But if I'm not, then... I think I uh -huh. may be able to answer that question, Miss Ryan. Yep, it's gotta be him. You! How, how the hell did you get here? Following you, April. You didn't think your little games back at the station would fool anyone, did you? Well, aside from those moronic and useless guards. It puzzles me why Mr. McAllen could be such a visionary and yet be so lacking in his comprehension of human nature to surround himself with brainless louts. Maybe he never really tried to understand Maybe humans. because he wasn't human. He was not. Yeah, that too. That would explain a lot. If he was not human, then what was he? Ah, uh, you know, dragon. You mean you didn't know? 
He was your boss, and you had no idea who you were working for. How pathetic can you get? Well, I actually kind of feel bad for this Don't guy. Don't toy with me, child. Don't you dare toy with me. I... He had a lot of stuff done to him. Don't. There was nothing he could do about it. He's he's weird because of the Vanguard. They did this to him. I do not know what came over me. I do. It's this talisman I'm holding. To anger. In fact, I'm usually quite incapable of it. April, we gotta we gotta get this medallion in his hands. Environment that's I don't feel quite right. Like there's something in here that's calling to me. It's just your soul, you know. What are you doing to me? I don't know what you're talking about, Gordon. No matter. I can ignore this. It's so hot in here. Don't you feel it? <laughs> the heat? Strikes us in very different ways, huh? I'm freezing. Maybe you should lie down for a minute or two. <laughs> Maybe you should lie down, Miss Ryan. Ooh, snappy come back. I actually have a good reason to be here, but you do not. After all, you are no longer a candidate in this race, are you? I may not become the new guardian, but neither will you. The balance will never accept you. I think it will. Don't be so sure, April. I, uh... Th that's your name, is it not? April? Why do you care? But, yeah. I will be the guardian. The balance will have no choice. Not with you and the previous guardian. Gone. Gone how? And we're we're right here. I'm. He is really messed up by this. Something. This, uh huh. Here, isn't there? Someone's calling my name. Someone's. No, no, not that. Not here. You brought it here. You yeah, I, I did. I did. Ha <laughs> ha. Stop. April, we gotta use this on him fast. Oh, he's gonna kill Adrian or something. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Take that! No, stay away from me. Don't. No. Uh uh, you're being reunited, like it or not, buddy. Bam. There you go. Enjoy being a whole person. <laughs> she just stands up. What have I done? Ooh. <laughs> So, how you feeling? What happened to him? I... I'm... alive again. Y you gave me back my life. Mm-hmm. You ready to be guardian? I did. You good now? You don't sound like yourself. Are you okay? I do sound like myself. And I'm better than I've ever been, April. I I'm whole again. Hooray! So it worked? The joining of two halves? Magic and logic. Order and chaos. I'm in balance now. I am balance. And it's glorious. Are you going to be a proper guardian? I'm sorry for what I did to you, April. And to you, sir. I, it's, it's I'm sorry good. for everything. But he could be fooling us. It wasn't you. Not all of you, anyway. It was me. But it misguided me. I, I wish I could undo all the harm I've done to both worlds. Both as Gordon Holloway and as the Chaos Vortex. I've done a lot of harm in both worlds, but too. But I can't undo my actions. All I can do is make sure they'll never happen again. And the only way to ensure that is by becoming the Guardian. I mean, it sounds like it's all good now. The Guardian? Well, yeah. It's he was my meant destiny, to be. April Ryan, not yours. I was born to be the Guardian. And although the Vanguard almost managed to prevent that from ever happening, they didn't succeed. And now, I'm ready. Thanks to you. But what about me? If I'm not going to be the Guardian, then who am I? That's something I cannot answer for you, April. Only you can do that. But I don't think the universe is done with you. You are important. Just not in the way you imagined. 
I mean, you've been a hero of the balance this whole time. That's pretty good. He is to be the guardian now. It was always his destiny, even though it was taken from him by the vanguard. We will begin the changing of the guards now, Gordon. And you, April. Thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice, your courage, your kindness. Okay, stop. You're making me feel very self-conscious. I only did what had to be done. Which is more than most people would have done. Your journey here will be remembered, April Ryan. Remembered and retold for all time. Right now, I'm only concerned about what's coming next. Where do I go now? Where can I go? Arcadia! That we gotta find Crow, though. To make. But do not fret. This world will never hurt you again. She's gonna go become Lady Alvani instead, I'll though, isn't she? Stark. Or Arcadia, for that matter. Can't you just shift out? Walk. Walk until you are outside, and then go back inside. It is easy from here. You can go anywhere you wish. But stay here first. Let's see the I new guardian that this is instilled, you know? Goodbye. Perhaps we will meet again. Yeah, why not? It's not an impossible thought. Anyway, you guys have an important job to get to. Don't let me hold you back. Well, can we watch? Thank I mean, you. this is a pretty momentous occasion. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. It's a rarer than once in a lifetime thing, you know? It's only every thousand years a new guardian ascends, so... I mean, watch and see what happens. Also, Crow? We can go live in Arcadia with Crow. It's gonna be awesome, April. the end of that? Funny. I feel almost... melancholy. Despite everything that's happened. I'm actually gonna miss this... this adventure. After all, what am I doing now? Going back to school? Live like nothing has happened? Like I'm just a... a normal person? And how long are you gonna live? You are oh. kin, after all. It's a long way home. I'll figure it out before I get there. Wherever there is. That would be really disconcerting if you you don't really want to spend the hey, thousand years as hey, the Guardian. Hey, wait up! Yeah! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave me here! Where have you been, buddy? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see you. But anyhow, so you're prepared. Okay, I'm going to make the thousand year sacrifice. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, no, wait, you don't have to. You can just go back to your life. I mean, while it's a relief to not have to spend that thousand years, it is, I can see her feeling a little bit kind of let down in the moment. Like, oh, I was gearing up for the gigantic sacrifice for the fate of worlds and um, huh, not needed after all. She still did, I mean... She is still a hero of the world. This couldn't have happened without her. So she's got a lot to feel really good about. But, I mean, she's got a good point. Like, what do you do after all that? Turn around and watch. April, don't you want to see? Come on. I can't believe she didn't just... Can I sit to the side in the tower here and watch and, and see Gordon become the guardian? I mean, come on. All right, I want Crow to be here in this epilogue. And so the story goes. But what happened to, to Crow? Is that it? But whatever happened to April Ryan? And did that man, Gordon Halloway, become a good and just guardian? Yeah, I am a little nervous about that, too. That is the end. If you had studied your scriptures, child, you would know that the 13th guardian was the last guardian to watch over the balance. Well, what happened after then? Was it after his reign that the worlds were reunited? Wait, what? During his reign. Not long after the events I have just described. Please tell us more. Tell us what happened to April and about the reunification of Stark and Arcadia. Yeah, it seems like that could be a really difficult thing. For another night. I'm feeling tired, and it is late. I would see you out, but my legs. Thank you, Lady Alvani. We'll find our way out ourselves. Thank you again for your hospitality and for your story. It was a good story, but yeah, I got some of the questions they have. And so the story goes. How strange it was to tell it again. To remember April Ryan. Well, I thought her was such a long story was going to be told all over the place, ago. you know? And now, now my story is almost over as well. Uh, you're as healthy as ever. <laughs> you 
you still got a lot of life left in you. Wish I was half as lucky. No, if she's this old that. now, You're he's okay. an old crow. You can still fly. Fly, yes. <laughs> but those cute little birds, they don't seem to appreciate that. They're holding out for their young, handsome suitors, and they don't have time for an old crow like me. Well, you got me, crow. Isn't that something? I guess. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, of course. Unless you're not planning on going out there again, are you? On a new adventure? Because, I don't know. I'm kind of happy staying here. Don't worry, Crow. I think our adventuring days are over. That doesn't mean we can't tell stories, does it? Stories no. are important. Definitely we saw that with not. the elation. Tell me one. Tell me the one about the young, beautiful warrior princess who single-handedly won the War of the Balance. Mm. Yeah, tell me about that. I don't remember it quite like that, Crow, but let's see. This story begins a long, long time ago, when Stark and Arcadia were still to be reunited, and the Guardian was still on his throne. Okay, and that's our end. So I like that ending. I do. I really am happy to see Crow still there. So, wherever she continued on, Crow remained her friend and they're together. I really enjoy that. The world's being reunited, though, is... It's such an interesting thing. I Like, the, the questions that the story listeners had at the end. I have those questions, too. Uh, the world's being reunited. Like, just the logistics of it. I think about this, right? So... So, if the worlds were reunited... And where my condo is overlaps with someone else's, like, house in Arcadia. Like, how is it the world's reunited? How does it physically work? Is it going to be, is the Earth going to be twice the size? Is it, like, the size of two worlds? Or are the two worlds each the size of the original Earth and they melt back into, like, that size and everyone has to condense, you know? Like, we have all these peoples and they have to fit on that small space. And if someone else's house is, is happens to be on the same spot as my house when the worlds melt, who has property rights? What about nationalities and stuff, you know? If these things conflict, if, if Mercuria is, if it happens to be in, we'll say the United States, just because that's where I live. So are Mercurians now U.S. citizens? Are U.S. citizens now part of... What was the country that Mercuria was in? I know I know this. Anyhow, you know, these are a lot of things. Like, who pays taxes to who? Who's your leader? If you're in the United States, are, do, you, do you have to follow the president? Or do Mercurians get to follow their governorship? You know, it's... I wonder about these things. I wonder about these things. It seems like it would be very, very complicated to reunite the worlds. There's a lot you'd have to figure out. That said, I did very much enjoy this game. It was a pretty good... I like that it tied together... It, you know, this was basically a blend of science fiction and fantasy, which is always a wonderful thing. My two favorite genres, so... Great to see elements of both of it together. We went to outer space. We went to the bottom of the sea. We battled a an alchemist. All kinds of cool things going on. There were dragons. But that's... So, okay. So, April being kin, I thought that she... I mean, it is never clear entirely exactly who her father is. And I do want to know that. Was it Cortez or was it someone else? Who was her father? What's going to happen with Sister Dragon? Do we just never see her again? We're the type of siblings that just don't really have much to do with each other's lives? What about the Day of Ascension that the kin were waiting for? I imagine that's when the, the worlds are reunited. What happens that Gordon Holloway, during his reign, the worlds are reunited? Is that a decision that he makes? He seemed like things were going pretty well at the end. Like, he's, he was balanced. It was good. But then she alluded to the war of the balance. <laughs> April's mom and the Gribbler were voiced by the same person. That kind of really amuses me, because her mom didn't seem like that great a person. 
All right. And that's the end of it. We beat it. We went on the longest journey. All right, excellent. Well then, I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. As always, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Huh. You can head on back to my channel. There's a bunch of other Let's Plays there, so there's some more point and clicks and stuff in there. There will definitely be more point and clicks to come because I love point and click games. There's more in this series. I think there's what? There's this, and then there's Dreamfall, The Longest Journey, and then Dreamfall Chapters. I think those three are all of them, right? And I own the next two, so keep an eye out because we're going to continue. I have a lot of unanswered questions here, and I want to see, I would assume the next games will address them. <laughs>